But they do let me have great parties. And if you've been to them, that must not good. <laughs> channel um we're doing a q and a for my parents you all get to meet my parents this is leslie Hi. and this is tom if you don't know my parents i'm very sorry but we're gonna ask them a few questions that i have gotten on instagram so uh we'll see how they do with this first question how did you all meet you got that one, dear. I got that one? Yeah. Okay, so I was um, freshman, sophomore, you sophomore at UK, and um, your dad came up with a good friend of ours who lived there in Lexington, too, that I used to ride back and forth to school with, and um, he actually... We were having a get together at our house. And get together, huh? Yeah, get together. Yeah. A party, huh? And it was a party. <laughs> he just told me. He said, "We need to go to this party. I got a girl. I need you to meet." Yeah. So I did. So first he said he was from Boyd County, and I said, "I don't think so." <laughs> Boyd County, Ashland, don't match. She's from Ashland. He's from Boyd County. Yeah. If you didn't know, those are like the biggest rival schools here. So it was worse back then. even though he has an Ashland Tomcats. Sure not, but that's because you kids. Yeah, as you can see, you, she uh, won that battle. We all went to Ashland. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I don't yep, know. Yep, she did. Yep. Ah, so we met and kind of hit it off. And next thing I knew, he was coming up to see me about every weekend. Hmm. So it just kind of went from that. 31 years later. Yeah. 31 years. Yep. That's right. Mm -hmm. You got to make it work. Kudos to y'all. Yep. Next question. This one's from Megan. How do they put up with your shit? <laughs> How do they put up with your shit? Mm hmm. <clears throat> it don't give too much problem. I'm not yeah. that bad. No. no. I'm with Blake. I mean, you know, we kind of went through each child, and by the time we got it to you, we were so tired. We were so, so broke in on how to do it all, but we're going through yeah. Blake and Matthew, and then you. Yes. I was the baby and the girl, so I was very. I got very lean here the girl. But you do know, I mean, we still, you know, when we mean enough's enough. But they do let me have great parties. And if you've been to them, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> but we no, keep no, it no. under control. No. Yeah. Uh -huh. We're always here, I can say that. We are always here. And no, we know the kids well. So. McLeod parties are the best. <clears throat> we try to, though, keep it to limits. Into the next question, Sydney said, How does it feel to have the party house <laughs> where everyone is always living? Well, after we had the house fire, I mean, this house attracted us because of the basement. Mm -hmm. um, so, a basement. We know where everybody's at, too, when yeah. y'all's here. We Our don't basement. have to worry y'all being somewhere else. Basement is the party zone for all of us. And it's not that I'm proud of that, it's just that I feel like I have to explain that because. It's, it was very hard to be able to allow you kids to come here and even being a drinking age, it's, it's hard to allow you to, but I feel like, you know, I, I don't want anybody out driving. I, and if you're going to do it, I'd rather. Yeah. That's what's nice about our here. parties. Everybody pretty much stays the night. We have plenty of couch space, chair space, bedroom space. Yeah. So we do. Makes for a. Everyone knows that they're coming to a McLeod party. It's like, okay, we're gonna have a place to sleep and it'll be we'll fine. Take a bowl, take the keys. <clears throat> and, we, and you know that if anything ever got to a point, we would say, cut it off, and the kids know we would. So we have other parents that help us too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I walk all. around with a bowl and collect keys. That's my job in the very beginning. It's mm -hmm. just to go around. Our neighbors know the kids well too, so they know. When one of them's having kids over, uh, they tell us we can use their driveway and stuff like that. But yeah, and I have I have kids here often. My friends are always here. They, and like that's another thing. I never invite anybody here. Most of the time, they're like, "Hey, I'm on my way." I'm like, "Okay, 
<laughs> and they're just here and they just come over and Nobody hang out. Nobody knocks. They just come in yeah, and everybody's welcome. Everybody you comes welcome. in. I guess that's also too a small town. If you're from like a big city or something, you're probably like, you all are crazy because we keep our doors locked 24 seven and blah, blah, blah. So. Okay, next question. Is Sarah the favorite child? <laughs> <laughs> There on that one. <laughs> we don't do favorite children. I have my favorites because I am the only girl. You're our favorite girl child. Yeah, <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. You yeah. are known as the princess from your brothers, though. So I don't know how you got that, but you do. We do spoil you, but I always tell you I will not have a spoiled brat in terms of the way you act and stuff. So. Um, they do bless me very well, but yes. I have never been one to be a brat about it. So. No, you don't. Okay, next question. What do your parents do? Well, I own a body shop. I've been working on cars for 40 some years and I always have to take care of my girl with her car. <laughs> She's always styling in a new car. Yeah, so if you wonder why we always have these nice cars, because of him, He, those are his toys, those are his babies. I like uh, clothes, he likes toys, so we have our <laughs> we, have, we have our own things. Cars, I guess I should say. Yeah. Everybody has to have a nice car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he started that when he was 16? When I was 16, yep. And now he has his own car business, so McLeod's Body Shop, if you didn't know. I'm yep. sure a lot of you take your cars there. If yeah. not, you should. And when he met me, I had so many dents on my car. I didn't know what a nice car was. Yeah. It took me a long time to fix that first one. Because <laughs> <laughs> she had dents on every corner. <laughs> and yeah. you, Mother? And I work at uh, King Stars Medical Center, Physician Services. I do physician recruitment in um, kind of over that area and have the Health Foundation hospital as well so so to dumb that down for you all she brings in the doctors at the hospital that's it that's why I tell my friends because they're like what does she do and I say all that and they're like what does that even mean I'm like oh well she the doctors that work there she's bringing them in from all over they come from all over we've got like 31 nationalities at the hospital which is pretty awesome we've got a good <clears throat> bit of diversity Okay, next question. Where did Sarah get her sense of fashion from? <laughs> I think we definitely know it's dad. <laughs> no. Yeah, that be for me. <laughs> In his, uh, mom likes to call his outfits the top of the drawer because he only yes. picks from the top of the drawer. He That's won't, right. he won't go through anything else. And, uh, he could live with just two pairs of pants and two shirts. No use digging when it's right there on top. He said he doesn't even know the last time he went shopping. Mom no. shops for him. Haven't bought clothes in a long time. So yeah, def definitely her. She uh, she does very well picking me out some things. <clears throat> she also has like seven closets in this house, so she has me beat there. Well, but I have to dress up every day. Yeah, so. she has to dress up every day, so I'll give her that. Yeah. And she keeps her clothes and actually wears them. I wear mine a couple times and then I'm like, nah. yeah. And then they just sit in there for a long time. So yes, yeah, definitely from uh, mother, mm -hmm. for sure. What advice you all would give to young married couples for a strong and long lasting marriage? Trust. Mm -hmm. A lot definitely. of trust. You have to be a good listener. You have to communicate. And Never take one another for granted. Give each other a little leeway. You can't be so strict with each other. <laughs> <laughs> well, true, true, yeah. right. When we when we met and and got together, um, I and I still love my friends, and my friends are very, very important to me. And I feel comfortable let her go with them. Yes, and you should. You go for a weekend. I would. That bother me a bit. Right. That's where the trust comes. <clears throat> it is. And, um, you know, I think being faithful and, um, you know, you love, you pray together, you, you go through good times, bad times, but you endure. And it's not easy. I mean, marriage isn't easy. 
But I tell you what, sometimes I feel like in these last few years we're on a second honeymoon, so. No. Spark's still there, people. <laughs> Goals. That's right. Yeah. Okay, next question. How do you feel that all of your kids are grown and moved out? <laughs> How do we feel? Yeah. Empty. Nest. <laughs> but we are going on a cruise in January. <laughs> <laughs> so, by ourselves. <laughs> yeah. It took some adjusting to get used to. <laughs> I mean, big time. I mean, we just had to. Yeah, just walk around the house like there's nobody here. Especially for him with the sports. I mean, that took some getting adjusted. He too. really struggled yeah. with you all not going to the. I mean, I I struggled with it, but. Um, yeah, we uh, as kids were big sports. I'm gonna say I'm gonna show you all the wall right now. And you can see also our okay, cat. It's very messy down here right now. Too. I'm just gonna show them this wall. But we also have a whole wall. Oh, there goes Simon. The wall thing. The wall of athletic um, posters and pictures of all of us. Awards. No, yep. We're very proud of you all. You just, it's, sports is a great, um, teaches you so much. So I'm a big fan of that. So. <gasps> oh, the cat. Oh my yeah, gosh. He come out of a ball of fire. Come out of a ball of fire. And then the last question is what are some things that your parents let you do that you don't think other parents allow? What do you well, one, I mean, we talked about the parties. I mean, that's just, I mean, it's a big responsibility and it's a lot on a parent. So, granted, you're fortunate that we went through it with your brothers to be able to get to you. So, um, you, know, you take trips on your own with your sister in law. Mm -hmm. Some good trips. Yes. Yeah. We've allowed you to go. It's okay, on. you were in good hands there. Right. You all three drove to the beach. Oh, yeah. They, for a senior trip, they gave us uh, our, our travel car, which is our Denali. It's we each each kid got to take that to uh, our senior trip. Drove that down there and drove it around. So uh, I don't know how many parents they let me do and my friends do a lot that other parents wouldn't, just because they I think trust they trust us and no, we're not. Hell yeah. Yeah, we're not that stupid. I mean, right? <laughs> no, it's changed with the generations with the kids. Yeah. Um, so your girls <clears throat> are. A little more laid back in a lot of the sense, <laughs> uh, but um, they're all good, and they know us, and I think they know not to push us because then that just takes away the privileges. So because we can put a stop to it real quick. Bye, Simon. Yes. Um, and they know that. Right. Sometimes it does get tiring. I will say, but. I love it, and I, I wouldn't trade it for the world, because I, I mean, you all didn't really go spend the night with other kids. No, I've never, I've spent the night, I can probably count on both my hands how many times I've spent the night with somebody. Mm -hmm. I, we never spend the night with anybody, because everybody's always at our house, which is why everybody calls them their parents as well, because everybody's always here, and. And called mom and dad by a lot of kids. Mm-hmm. And when I'm That's not like here, mom. it just seems like, and they're like, why? Are, what are you doing? <laughs> because I don't, I don't ever stay the night anywhere, or my brothers never did either. Everybody always came here. So, mm -hmm. in fact, I'm always, yeah, I always want to know when you do spend the night. I mean, I've texted you multiple <laughs> times, which is kind of crazy, but I do. Mm -hmm. um, but I think your friends know that they can come here and talk to us too, even if you're not here, and if they have a problem or something. Yeah, so. a lot of my friends come to her for as a second mom. Um, option and they know that she's very easy to talk to and and a lot of people love coming here for dinner if you haven't known yeah. that dinner here is every night five star meals because this one <laughs> this one cook. I have a daily vlogs that I post on my snapchat if you haven't seen those or have me on snapchat um, you're missing out because 
Dinner here is, I, I never wanna go out to eat. This is honestly why I've been here so long. I think that sums up all of our questions we have. We didn't get too personal. We got a little bit. No? Got a little bit to know. We are, uh, we like to have fun here at the Cloud household. But, you all finally got to meet my parents who haven't yet, since I know you've just been waiting so long to meet them because you just <laughs> see how great they are all the time. So, say goodbye to goodbye. YouTube. Bye. I will hopefully have a new video soon. Thank you. Goodbye.